What's happening guys? So if you are new to the channel, I am Junius Tech and here we review random tech products everywhere from keyboards to cute little pandas that come with pairs of headphones. But in today's video, we are looking at a mechanical gaming keyboard on a budget. So this is the AULA, or the Ola? Might have to correct me on that one. Mechanical keyboard. This is Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM key global. The reason it is so cheap is because it is the back to school super sale. So what we need to do is click on buy now and go to the page. It is currently at £16.74 here in the UK. But if we use this cheeky little discount code, SKJT, and there you go, you have just brought your price down from £16.74 down to £13.39. So what we need to do now is go over the submit order. And then from here, all you need to do is pick your payment type. Then we're going to get this. So as we can see, order submitted, it's paid, it's processed, it's complete. All you need to do now is click that ye little yellow button that says get the key. The one in the middle, which is blurred out, is the activation key. Mine's blurred out, yours won't be, of course. So what we need to do is highlight this and control C. So from here, all we need to do is go over to settings, click on settings. Type in activation, activation, and there we go. So click on activation settings. Your copied link, paste it into here and click on next. Now, what Windows is going to do is check to make sure it is a genuine key. It'll only allow you to activate genuine keys. So click on that, click on next, and it's done straight away. Then all you've got to do is click on activate, and there we go. You've just upgraded to Windows 10 Pro for next to nothing. So this is what we're looking today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it unboxed. We're going to see what we're working with, and we'll go from there. So, so first off, as we can see, so, as we can see, this is a wired mechanic key keyboard, which isn't an issue. There is a lot of great keyboards that, that aren't wired, but then again, it all comes down to what you're wanting, whether you're wanting more of a minimalistic look, so you don't want any cables, or if you're not really worried about cables, and it's not your si style or your, not your thing. So, on the bottom of the keyboard, we can see that we have a few monthly functional keys. So, these are made of the same material as the keyboard, which I believe is more of like a plastic metal, which is actually quite nice. Don't really see metal keyboards going around, especially just the metal plates. You normally have to spend quite a bit of money. So the multifunctional button keys are as followed. So we do have a little volume rocker, which is quite nice. We do have an LED button and a mode button, which you can change through, I think, 21 variations of RGB or more lighting effects. Uh, we do have a mute, unmute button. We have a forward button, back button, and also play and pause. So this is more for your multimedia stuff, which is very nice. So some of the main characteristics of when it comes to this keyboard is the actual metal plate design. So all the front face, obviously excluding the back and everything, all the front face is an all metal design with the AULA logo as well as I think their logo is more of like a spider design. As we can see there, it does look more like a spider. We do get three LED buttons here. This is going to be for your caps lock, scroll lock, as well as num lock, which is yeah pretty standard, quite nice to see. So the design they went for when it comes to the switches is that they have went for more of a raised switch. So if I pop these out, it does come with a little tool here so you can remove them. So as we can see on the switch here, you can see how flat and low profile they have went for. Obviously, you can change this to whatever keys you want because it does obviously give you that chance. But they have went for more of a flat style key with just a single uh, cross pendulum going on there. And then also we have the key cap there. It looks like a brown switch. It doesn't really sound like a brown switch, but it'll probably be a lower market one. I don't think these are removable though. No, I've got a straight, I've got a feeling that they are actually uh, soldered to the board. It doesn't say anything about the, you know, you being able to move the chip. So that's probably one downside if you were thinking about, you know, refurbing this to whatever you want. But then again, it's not exactly a major issue. And of course, obviously on the back of the keyboard, which is extremely generic, we just have all plastic back. We do have rubber feet either side, so if you are on a, a non-fabric a non surface, it's not going to slide everywhere. And then, of course, they also have the level of adjustment on the side, uh, which we can see right there. So you've got about an inch of adjustment there, which is going to allow you to be able to control the keyboard a little bit easier, allowing you not to have like to that flat design. You can have it raised up a little bit, so it makes it a little bit more comfortable. So when looking into some of the specifications when it came to the keyboard, it does have a few different functions, like the sleep function. So if you're using this on your PC or you know on your laptop instead of the original keyboard, it does have a sleep function where if you stop using it for a period of time, the lights will dim down, allowing you to save battery. I'd say on your keyboard if you don't have, on your laptop, sorry if you don't have it plugged in, or just generically if you don't want it lit up and you go away, the lights will actually turn off. 
This is overall 104 key card mechanical keyboard, which does come with anti-ghosting. So when it comes to you using multi combinations of keys, there's not going to be a massive drastic amount of change. So when you are game playing, use a few keys at the same time. So overall, for what you're getting and how much you're actually paying for it, you do actually get a more superior design. So the one thing we need to do is actually see roughly what it sounds like. So if I move, so what we're going to do is just a quick little speed test, uh, just to see roughly what it sounds like. So give me 10 seconds. Overall, it's not the worst. Like, there is... I know you can obviously take switches out and all that sort of stuff, lube them up. I can see the switches just at the bottom here do have a small amount of lube on them, but when you're paying for something, the price you did, check the links in the video description if you want to find out how much this thing actually cost. So it generally sounds quite nice, I have to admit. I don't mind mechanical keyboards. I've had mechanical keyboards in the past. My first one when I got my first ever PC lasted me around, I think it was like three, two or three years. It was the ADX Ultimate. I now use the Logitech G915 just because a matter of fact of how low profile it is and it's just overall a great keyboard. Apart from the price, I don't like the price of it. But then again, when you're buying something like this for the price you are getting it for, relatively really, really good. The one thing I did forget to mention is actually the cable. So the cable that it does come with is fully corded and then it is just plain USB plugs into whatever port you want. You do get quite a length of it as well so you don't really need to worry about it having close to your system. Um, but then again, if you want a, if you want a keyboard with a wire, that is pretty much all down to you. It all really just depends. But I have to admit, all in all, not a bad little keyboard. So if you do want to go check one of these out for yourself, please do check the links in the video description. There'll be a link there dedicated to Amazon, so you can go grab one for yourself or just check it out. But as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any further videos. And I really do hope you have an amazing day.